Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I am truly honored to be chosen as a guest of honor speaker in the celebration of 28th Foundation Day and 5th University Charter Day of the Kalinga State University. Thank you for making me a part of this significant occasion. It has always been a pleasure and joy to see our fellow men gather, especially during festivities like this. Unfortunately, for the sake of our safety and protection during these difficult times, we are left with no choice but to commemorate and honor this day physically apart from its other but we are still glad that this celebration is still made possible through modern technology. Nonetheless, we hope and pray that in the next years of commemoration, we will be able to physically celebrate together. With today's theme, Embracing New Experiences, Overcoming challenges with remarkable courage and resiliency, I am greatly reminded of how the Kalinga State University has successfully engaged with the community and continued to play its role as one of the partners of the provincial government in its fight against COVID-19, even in responding to other public spirited challenges, notwithstanding the fact that ACA teams have been among the most affected institutions during this pandemic. Over the years, the Kalinga State University has sharpened its role in delivering quality education, in promoting culture, and in pioneering innovations through research and technology that contributed to the economic and social transformation of our province. On this special occasion, I congratulate and offer my sincerest thanks to the Kalinga State University family and to all who have contributed to the existence and success of this learning institution for the 28 years of remarkable public service for rising to the challenges brought by the COVID-19 pandemic and of other critical issues concerning education. Keeping it going for so many years entails absolute commitment, sacrifices, and great dedication. Your passion, unity, and commitment have remained steadfast throughout the weathering of the sun's time. This year's Foundation Day celebration of the Kalinga State University is made more meaningful as it strives to establish its resiliency in education amidst the health crisis we are in. To thrive in the difficult times requires not only strong visionary leadership, but the collective effort of every stakeholder optional community. It is important then for all of us to support each other in this shared vision. Rest assured that the provincial government will continue to be supportive of the university's plans and projects as it reframes the delivery of its services to its clientele in the new normal. I must admit that the demands of this new situation somehow took us into a quandary. However, I am very confident that the history of 28 years of the institution in overcoming one challenge after another will inspire all of us to continue doing our best in our respective tasks to provide education that our students deserve and will never be compromised during this challenging journey. These new experiences we are encountering pose a great challenge to everyone, especially to our students who are among those who are massively affected and continue to be inconveniently affected by the burden brought about by this pandemic. I also encourage you 
to be more compassionate and considerate to our students, but only on the level that will not result in jeopardized learning. On the other hand, they also appeal to you, our dear students, to cooperate and continue striving to attain a good education. Considering the mode of learning that is in effect, you are expected to be more responsible and serious in your studies. Ascertain on how you can cope up with the daily challenges of learning, especially at this time of pandemic. Always remember that in this modern world, your educational achievement and competency is one of the factors that will define your future. If you want a more conducive learning experience, we can possibly achieve this. But at this point in time, we need your understanding and full cooperation in our actions in putting an end to this COVID-19. We all have to fight this battle as one if we want to overcome this pandemic. We all must have courage to keep going so that no one will be left behind. This does not mean, however, that we have to be fearless. Bear in mind that we have to overcome this predicament with all the aspects of this equity. Let us be considerate and mindful to everyone around us including our families, our neighbors, and also to other people that we encounter. That is the real united triumph. Lastly, I would like to emphasize that the future of humanity does not lie solely in the hands of great leaders. It also rests in the hands of people and in their ability to organize and support one another. Let us not allow this COVID-19 pandemic reduce the quality of education and service that this prestigious institution is providing to its students and clients. Let the effects of the pandemic strengthen our courage to push for the glory of its name. Again, thank you for having me in today's celebration. Happy 28th Foundation Day and 5th University Charter Day. God bless the Kalinga State University. God bless Kalinga, Matago, Napolosan.